right, number nine, are you an outside kind of person or an outdoorsy person? Instagram explains an outside person enjoys being outside without exertion. Think views from a patio or from the side of the road, a woodsy picnic looking at a mountain with hot chocolate in your hand. Outdoorsy is someone who'd rather keep it moving. Mm. Hiking, doing stuff outside and moving. Another thing that separates the two, how you seek out waterfalls. Mm. Outdoorsies like to hike to the waterfall. Outsidesies will look for a wall of waterfall closer to the parking lot and just take a picture. So, yeah, I think uh, outside in general, not my favorite, but uh, I, would, I would definitely be the one who's not doing all the hiking. And, yeah. Not when you can see it on the internet. That's right. I like a mm. walk, but I don't like anything uphill. And a you hike, like pavement. Hike indicates. Mm -hmm. What's uphill. your favorite terrain? Cul de sac? <laughs> <laughs> That's that? exactly right. Because uh, you don't have to worry about being yeah, too far yeah. from your starting yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. God, that's brilliant. That makes sense. Uh, or subdivision. I love a subdivision. <laughs> Number eight, uh, what does a $10 million uh, vacation look like? Not run of the mill luxury. One travel agency plans cinematic adventures complete with elaborate sets, a cast of actors and scripts. One family requested a mermaid and submarine along with the Odyssey inspired private yacht cruise. The trips reach Hollywood levels of production for travelers. People spending $10 million on a vacation? Uh, That's I not right. Is that right? A handful of them. Yeah, maybe three people. Nobody we know. No. All right, number seven, it's no longer a taboo thing to have a foot fetish. Oh, there you Stop go. It. I, you know what? You don't need to, can we get rid of that banner feet. so we can see them better? You don't have to have perfect feet to sell pictures of them online. Turns out people will pay hundreds, mm, even thousands of dollars for pictures Ugh. of them. A new survey from the fetish oh, site, Fun With Feet, oh, come on. shows that uh, models with square feet make the most money selling their pics. Mm. They can make up to $45,000. Wow. People with Greek wow. feet. Make around forty-three thousand. What, what is Greek feet? Feet? I'm not sure. That's where the second toe is longer than the rest. Uh, oh God! Now the old Roman feet. That's where the first three toes are equal in length. Uh, Those can also bring in some big money. Yeah. Uh, because they're not as common. Uh, you don't even need perfect feet as long as they're clean, freshly polished, and not too hairy. Uh, you should be good to go. Are a lot of people looking at like men's feet on OnlyFans. Is that are there I'm women not with sure. a foot I gotta fetish? Believe. I would hope so. hope so. I'd imagine so. I remember like 25 years ago, this guy <laughs> called the station. <laughs> and I think he's talking with yeah. Weir. And he says, hey, listen, I work with like Nike or some <laughs> food, you know, foot uh, shoe place. And I'm wondering if uh, you, we're thinking of doing something with local newscasters. And can you describe your feet to me? So Bill's like, well, you know, the, uh, and how about could you send me some pictures of your feet? And Bill's like, OK, it uh, doesn't seem, oh, you know, yeah, whatever. They're done. <laughs> He's a fetish guy. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, we yeah. all... And you would have never fallen for that no. unless they sent you a link in your email. <laughs> then you would have fallen for it. Ask for a credit card number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm past all that. Oh, God. Uh, number six. Before Chatbot, there was Eliza. She was uh, created in the 1960s from a computer scientist named Joseph Weizenbaum. Take a look for yourself as a computer program that anyone can converse with via the keyboard and it'll reply on the screen. We've added human speech to make the conversation more clear. Men are all alike. In what way? They're always bugging us about something or other. Can you think of a specific example? Well, my boyfriend made me come here. Your boyfriend made you come here? He says um, I'm depressed much of the time. I'm sorry to hear that you're depressed. It's true. I am unhappy. <laughs> Do you think coming here will help you not to be unhappy? The computer's replies seem very understanding, but this program is merely triggered by certain phrases to come out with stock responses. Nevertheless, Weizenbaum's secretary fell under the spell of the machine. And I asked her to my office and sat her down at the keyboard, and then she began to type. And of course, I looked over her shoulder to make sure that everything was operating properly. After two or three interchanges with, uh, with the machine, she turned to me and she said, would you mind leaving the room, please? And yet she knew, as Weizenbaum did, that Eliza didn't understand a single word that was being typed into it. 
That can't be the 60s. You're not my father in some ways. It's the 80s, you don't argue. right? So maybe it was know. invented in the 60s. I mean, those computers didn't exist mm. in the 60s. Well, they did, yeah, but maybe they, they, they recreated it or something ah. in this video thing or something. Yeah, sure. Ah. Yeah. Uh, that uh, you can check out the New Jersey Institute of Technology's website. Hmm. Fascinating. Right. Yeah. All right, number five. Will January ever end? This month feels ungodly long. Psychologists are weighing in. They say it's because we're flooded with all of the December dopamine. Oh, yeah. The magic of the holidays, the giving of gifts, the getting of gifts, the food, the celebrations, mm. the parties, the merriment. Then January rolls around and poof, the happy feelings are not there. It's just cold and miserable. Bills are due from all that holiday cheer. Shorter days, mundane routine, might even cause some seasonal affective disorder. Sure. All of it, which is what they say makes January feel like the longest month. Mm. It is also 31 days mm -hmm. long, so there you go. All right, number four, are you Herkle Durkle? The oh. Scottish word is taking over social media right now. It sounds made up, but it's yeah. not. Herkle Durkle dates back to 19th century Scotland. It means to lie in bed or lounge around when you should be up and moving around. For example, uh -oh. Robin prefers to herkle durkle, uh, lingering under the covers in her warm bed long after it's time for her to get up. Huh. Uh, the reason for the comeback? Probably because it sounds fun and kind of cute. Yeah. And uh, TikTok likes fun, cute words. Yeah, they do. All right, number three, a more feet stuff. Oh Should we God. take our shoes off at the door? Oh, yeah. Scientists say we track in all types of bacteria, mostly E. coli. It's not the only thing that hitches a ride on footwear. Heavy metals, dust, pesticides, those are just a few unwelcome shoe passengers that make their way into our homes. So according to science, removing shoes at the door could help with a less germy house, but it's also a matter of choice. Some people would rather not see your feet. Thank you. And they'll take their chances with the germs. Do you wear your shoes around your house, Robin? No, but I always have a sock on. I mean, I, you know, it's not like I'm, I mean, but if and people you have come. No, in some parts I do. But it's like if people come to your mm -hmm. house, though, for if they come over, do you make people take their shoes I off? I find most people volunteer. Yeah. And then no, I put up. No, they don't. You t you're telling me what the people who come over my house do? <laughs> do I know what the people who come over. No, I don't. As a matter of fact, I give them the, the old foe. You don't have to do that. Yeah. But in my mind, I'm saying, yeah. you better take those shoes off. Yeah, and here's they some special socks for <laughs> you yeah. to put on. They yeah. take them off. People do. People volunteer. Yeah. But see, what, it, it, shoes are part of my outfit. I mean, that, if I have to take off my shoes when I go in someone's house, that, that ruins the whole outfit. Yeah. Yeah. Ruins the whole right. outfit. Yeah. yeah. Again, I, you know, I'm not making it a mandate. These yeah. are just considerate people. I don't know what to tell you. What do they do up by your house up there? Oh, yeah, Larry, what happens? What's up the rules? He makes them there? take them off at the moat. Yeah. <laughs> I got yeah. so. yeah. 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 shoes on. Yeah. yeah. I'm, uh, I don't have a problem with people wearing shoes in my house. Yeah, yeah. I don't either. You know, they're shoes. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Listen. Tarzan's living in the jungle, yeah. eating stuff off the ground. Right. Yeah. He was the toughest, right. badass yeah. around. Right. Right. Well, right. You're worried about, I'm worried about somebody's yeah. shoes walking right. on my carpet? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's right. He also grunted, but that's, yeah. you know. Right. Was he a real historical also, figure? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He, I just okay. All right, let's move on before yeah. anyone checks the details on this. Number two, it's time to talk, uh, sorry, it's time to take a hot girl walk. Sports Illustrated model Mady Dewey has some tips. Mady says create five walking routes or loops around your home. Know how long they take you, then try taking a 10 or 15 minute loop. Hmm. Another tip, make walking a weekly thing that you can use to catch, use the time as like catch up time to walk with a friend. Another tip would say uh, to make it like a habit stack where you walk and you listen to a podcast or you walk and you call a friend. Uh, finally, uh, changing your mindset. Don't overthink it. Just get out there, do it. Any movement's going to be good for you. So that makes you a hot. That's a hot girl a walk, hot or is it? Just, does yeah, it make you hotter when mm. you do it? Uh, it potentially could if you do it enough. Oh, I see. And maybe have some plastic surgery and some other things <laughs> done. You could potentially get to the hot girl gotcha. status. All right, number one. Uh, let's talk about the movie National Lampoon's Animal House, the classic film we know wasn't the movie the writers originally intended it to be.
one of the early drafts of the movie featured notorious cult leader and murderer Charles Manson as the lead. Huh? It, it took place in high school and not college, but the script was deemed too outrageous and offensive and was quickly rejected. John Landis was brought in to direct the movie. He's credited with shaping the movie's direction and making John Belushi a breakout star. Belushi was only 28 mm. at the time. Mm. Yeah. So like... that tracked because he was supposed to be in like his eighth year of college, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 All right, that's the nine and nine.